All right, guys, so I like to go ahead and clean up all my knives and stuff after I get through using them. I just come in here at me, and everything comes off of them a whole lot quicker. It's easier when it's wet, not dried on there, so I just come in here and wipe, clean up all my equipment that I've got used for the day. Go ahead and take my apron off. I'm just going to hang it up here on these hooks. I can take my sprayer and I can clean my apron. Well, now all that's left, guys, is get this thing put on a board and uh, get it hung up on the wall drying. So we'll step right over here. Guys, I like using these uh, these split boards, the top-notch stretchers for my coyotes and my otters. You don't have to have those boards. You can use a solid board. That was more of a thing. If all you got solid boards or wires, feel free to use them. Uh, but if you got if you got a way to invest in some of these split boards, I really like them. It makes it a lot easier, faster process using these using these split boards. They're long enough. You got this middle section. You can pin the tail. You don't have to add on sections of your other boards, your wire to get that tail stretched good. But all we're going to do, guys, is come in here. We're going to take that hide and we're just going to feed it over the point of this thing. We have the belly facing one way, the back facing another. And we're gonna pull it tight down onto this board. We'll go ahead and adjust it to whatever width we need it down here. Tighten it up. We'll work that hide down, stretch it down on that board, guys. You want to make sure that you have it centered. You want to make sure that your front leg holes are centered on that board perfectly. You don't want your leg over here off to the side. You want it, you want it centered, your ears up here to be centered about right on that board. Container full of push pins. I'll just come here on the side and pour some of those push pins out. What I'll do, guys, I'll come right up here. Right up here on this edge, there's your foot. It comes around here to where that tail, that leg turns into the tail. I'll come right here above that. I'll just kind of pull it, pull it tight. We'll come through here and we'll We'll make us a line now and we'll pull that pull that tight putting several pins across there in a line pulling that hide down and tight same thing on this side guys we'll come down here we'll, we'll pull that down we want it to be about the same on both sides just for presentation we'll come right in here Do the same thing. We're just going to make us a line across here with these pins, pulling that hide tight as we go. All right, so now, now we've got the back of it pinned. We've got this tail loose. If you need to, take your knife and come in here and trim. If you've got any fat or gristle left on the sides, you can take your knife. Like right here is a little bit. We're just going to trim, trim that edge off of this side. We'll come down here and put a pin in it just to hold it tight. We'll go ahead and pull it all the way down here to the tip. And we'll put a pin down here in the tip. That's just going to hold that tight while I make my cut here. I'll just come up here, that little bit of fat and gristle that's left on the edge of that tail. And I'm just going to trim that up, make a straight line, and cut that off while I do. Well, there we go, guys. A little bit more right there. All right, now we're just going to finish finish pinning that tail all the way down. I'll just come down here every inch or so. Really don't matter, just whatever whatever you prefer to do. Come down here and we'll just we're just going to pin that tail all the way down so that it holds open while it dries. And we're 
We're just going to work our way all the way down this thing, guys. All the way to that tip. Every couple of inches, putting the pin. If you see any fat or membrane or a little bit of meat that you missed, you can get it off with a knife right now. Fairly easy. Or you can wait until it dries. Uh, the problem, you don't want to cut the edge of the skin after it dries because uh, it'll cause it to rip. But anything in the center, like a pocket of fat or something like that, you can come in and fillet it. But anything that's along the edges, you want to get cleaned up now. You don't want to wait until after the skin dries because that'll cause it to rip uh, if you do it at a later time. So there we go, guys. That, that completed the entire back of this thing. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the front side. I'll lay it over this little bit of gap that I've got on the table. So I don't lay it flat on the table because those pins would push down on the table, but I got this opening here that I can lay it across. Now all we got to do, we've got our feet here, guys. We're just going to come in here and we're going to pull that, pull that tight from where we've got these pins over on the side. And however we want, if you want to do an upward angle or a downward angle or a straight across line, however you want to do, it doesn't matter. The purpose for all this is just to get this skin dried and preserved temporarily until we can get it to a buyer. So come in here and place your pins wherever you want that to be. I usually put about three pins in it. Come in here and do the same thing on this other side. I'm going to pull it tight from that front edge, put a pin in it. All right, guys, so now all that's left is to trim up this edge and these feet. So however I put my pins in there, I'll come right behind them, and that's normally the angle that I'll make my first cut here. Now we're going to make a presentation window. If it's a male otter, you want to come right up above where that uh, batulum was and then cut down, make your window. I'm going to come in here and pull this tight now. And I'm just going to, wherever I think that window should be, I'm just going to come around here, make this one cut up and around that belly, right around the, the two tit areas on a female. I'm just going to continue around to this other leg, guys. Coming right around my pins. Now I'm coming here and cut this foot off at the angle I need it to be. There we go. Got the belly done. Now we come up here, come up here to the arms. A little bit of fat and stuff around it. Just take your knife and trim up whatever you need to. Pull it tight. Come in there and pull that. Whatever you missed there, trim it up. All right, we're going to pull that leg tight up tight now, and I'm just going to come in here and make one cut all the way across it. That's going to clean the majority of that fat and stuff that we left along the edge there. Same thing here, pull that tight. Make one cut. Now, guys, just to... Just to, to, for presentation, we're going to come in here, we're going to close up those armholes. So we're going to come in, we're just going to pull our pins all the way around the edge of that hole. If you make a cut in it, whenever you're, uh, whenever you're, you're scraping it, you would do this now too. You would just take your pins and, uh, and close that hole that was made up. We're just pulling all that skin to the center, guys, and we're closing that armhole up. Same thing here. All right, only thing left now is to come up here to the nose and cut that top lip off. Oh, now. Like I said, any other fat or membrane, anything you want to get off, just come in here and trim it up now. I'll come right below that lip where I left that fat and stuff whenever I scraped it. I'll come in here and make a cut. Come right up that side, cutting that bottom lip off up to the nose on both sides. And there we go, guys. That otter's boarded. Only thing left to do, if you're using a solid board, you want to be sure to come in here with a belly wedge. 
just a long stick and run that belly wedge up that hide so it leaves some slack in that belly. So when you go to take it off the board, you've got some, uh, some slack there to be able to pull it off that solid board. Another reason I like these, these split boards from top, uh, top lot is because I can just do it by pulling these sides in. That loosens that whole hide up. It's ready to go. As I keep a little scraper laying here on the bench, I can just use it now to scrape any, any fat or anything that's left on there off. And then as it's drying here on the wall, I can come back and, and wipe it down, keep the grease wiped off of it with a rag and uh, do the same thing. So we're just going to come up here, hang it up in front of this fan now, guys. And uh, two or three or four days, however long it takes, we'll come in here overnight. We'll leave it tail side out. Tomorrow we'll come in, turn the belly out to where it's toward the fan. And then uh, keep the grease wiped off of it with a towel. And then we'll come back in and pull it off of the board. I'll step over here and show you guys what that looks like. So these right here are my otters that I put up this year. When it dries, it's going to look like this right here. We're just going to hang it up on this on this higher uh, wire hanger. And I showed you guys how to make one of those in one of my other videos. We'll just hang it on this wire hanger until uh, we get ready to send it off to the buyer. All right, guys. Hopefully that hopefully that uh, hopefully that was useful. And uh, you guys got any questions? Be sure to comment. I read all the comments, guys. I'm doing a pretty good job of answering all the comments. But uh, if you got a question or something, just know that I do read them, and I'll try to help you out however I can. But uh, we'll catch you guys next video. Thanks for watching.